Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for joining us in our Twinkle Tips Friday video. We have an exciting addition in X-Lights that maybe you don't know about. It's not new, but it might be new to you, so let's go ahead and get started. Hi friends, Clyde here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thanks again for joining us for another Twinkle Tips Friday video. We hope you are liking the videos and giving us a big thumbs up if you do. And if you have any suggestions for videos that you would like to see done, please put them in the comment section below. By you commenting on the video and you giving us a like and you sharing the video, it really helps the channel grow and helps us produce some better videos and gives you better content and hopefully, hopefully, better solutions to the challenges that you're going to find whenever you're doing the X lights or the L RGB lighting hobby. Well, folks, you might believe for one moment that uh, we have exhausted everything there is to know about uh, doing a singing character face in X lights or putting it together. But there is some things that you may not know about, and that's why I'm doing today's video. So you're used to me going in and showing you how to set up a faces uh, or a face character, uh, add custom forced colors to the character. Uh, but what you haven't seen yet is one of the additions that X-Lights has for characters who are ultra, uh, I don't want to say high definition, but they have more options, more things that you can do to them, meaning they have more either uh, facial features or they have uh, extra colors that you want to add into their outfit that they're wearing. Maybe they're like a six foot tall character. Maybe, they, maybe they're a character kind of like this where we have uh, the gingerbread and, and he, has, he has maybe different color icing and maybe it's a girl gingerbread and a boy gingerbread and you want the buttons here to be red and you want the bow tie to be green and you want to put that all in the face outline. Well, whenever you look at the face's outline, you only have two individual lines that you can assign forced colors to and in this example like for example here you can see that this character has a, a face a skin colored face and then you have a red hat and then the rest of them he's got a little mouth here he's got a little cute little eyeballs and stuff and but that's the limit to what he can do on the faces effect but let's get into another dialogue we'll go into the states effect now if you if you don't know anything about the states effect that's okay you don't need to know a whole lot however we've done a whole video if you look up there you're gonna find a whole video on the states effect that we did last summer that really goes into detail and in setting it up and creating them but one of the things that you can do in the states effect is when you have a character with multiple pieces on him that uh, could use different colors to accentuate and highlight things then you might find it interesting to begin using those extra colors in the states effect the developers have added from the faces effect a link to a state that the same uh, prop may have what does that mean so if you build a state the state is in this case it's a face but it has multiple things it has a red hat here we'll say in this instance it's a red hat it has a it has a contour line if we uh, make him a little bigger maybe you can see him right there this is a little darker red that that's a differentiation. That's a small piece that you can add in to make him just a little bit more, quote unquote, lifelike, where it's just got a little bit more detail into it. You can see he has the green hat brim, and you can see he has the regular red on the hat. The developers knew that if you could utilize more options, then you could get a little better results and some great outcomes whenever it comes to programming. So let's go into the sequence, and I'll show you what I mean. So this is the before. You've got two characters singing here, and, and we have their face outlines are built with two colors. You have, you have a, a skin tone color, we'll say, and then you have the face, and then you have the top of the hat, which is all red. Now, that works, and it does a good job, and it's done a good job for many 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 years but the easiest way to upgrade this is to come over here under the faces effect and use the states effect as an outline so here I'll go ahead and select it for this character 
and you can see there's our little bit more high detailed uh, look. You have the nice red hat and you have the green brim. Now, uh, you can do the same thing over here, but this is what I want to share with you. I want to show you that it's not always necessary to do a lot of hard work to change something. So these two characters are identical characters, but if we go over to this one, let's go to the states effect, and we can do some cool changes to this. Now, this is in the other video too. But what if we wanted his hat to be green so that you could tell, hey, he's a different character? Okay, well, we can come in here and we can change his, his top hat to green. We can change his brim. We can change that to the red color. And we can come down here where it has this red uh, edge and we can change that to a darker green color. So you get that little contour line. So now if you click Save and we come back over here to the sequence and we double click the, the second face, you can now see that the two characters here are the same characters, but now you're utilizing them in two totally different ways for two, for as two different characters. And the people who come to your show get the chance to see these two characters working on your show and they can tell that they're different. They're not the same exact cookie cutter identical one. So guys, I hope this video was helpful, informative, and kind of uh, brought you to kind of a new level, a next level, if you will, of, of x lights understanding, especially with the singing faces. If you have any more questions or comments on this topic for, the, uh, for, for singing characters, for setting them up, or if you need to learn more, put those questions in, in the comments section down below. Hopefully you liked the video. Give us a big thumbs up. If you haven't done yet, so hit the subscribe button and we'll hopefully not disappoint you with even more videos down the road as we come up with them. Guys, it's been wonderful having you with us today. If you appreciate the things we do here at Pixel Pro Displays, consider joining the PPD Sequence Club where every month you get one awesome sequence, brand new to the store guaranteed. We also include a two other choices so that you can choose the other two songs if you like those as well. We also give 50% discount on those other two sequences if you like them. So th there's a lot of great things that we do for the, the community. There's a lot of great things that we try to do for our club members. So consider joining the club. Thank you guys for joining us in this week's Twinkle Tips Friday video. Please join us next week. We will have another one for you. Guys, take care and have a great weekend. Cheers. Hi folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for joining us in this Twinkle Tips Friday video. We hope you're excited to see this interesting edition that's in Excite. <laughs> so, with that being said, I want to get started on today's lesson, which is going to be on faces. Now, you can you can for one second think that uh, I have exhausted Twinkle Tips Fridays with with singing characters, but 